Hi, I'm Nate Blanchard for CalTV. We're here at the De Young Museum of San Francisco, one of San Francisco's most renowned treasures. Inside, it actually houses one of the most extensive collections of North American, Central American, Oceanic, and African art here in the Bay Area. But it's more than just a pretty building with pretty pictures inside. It's actually a powerhouse of culture and entertainment that serves the Bay Area. Let's have a look. As you can see, it's all happening here inside the De Young Museum. We have live music, live art making here in Wilsley Court. And the best thing about Friday nights at the De Young, the permanent exhibition is actually completely free for the public. So we are here with the Director of Public Programs, Renee Baldocki. Now, Renee, can you please, in your own words, tell us a little bit about Friday nights? The scope of the work that we've done has really been about bringing in um, all kinds of artists from all different disciplines, from all different social backgrounds, um, bringing their voices into the museum and uh, them sharing their, their art. We are here with a fantastic Kevin Chen, who manages the Artist Studio program here at the De Young Museum. Kevin, can you tell us a little bit about the Artist Studio? It was uh, designed as an Artist Studio residency program for the museum when they built the new museum 10 years ago. It's a dedicated 1,400 square foot space with inside the museum. It's dedicated towards rotating monthly artist residencies for local Bay Area artists. And it's really meant to be a chance for the museum visitors to meet uh, a live, living, working artist and to basically see the process of creation of art in front of them. We are here with Carlo Abruzzese. Did I, did I say that right? That's correct, Abruzzese. What I'm mapping here are the ethnic diversity of the population. So each color, including white, is a different ethnic group. And I get all my information from the U.S. Census. So it's actually accurate to the quantities and locations of the different ethnic groups within the each state, and then when you look at the entire thing, you're looking at a map of the U.S. What is your main hope that the public takes away from their experience at the Friday nights at the De Young Museum? Well, um, the whole, you know, the whole uh, reasoning behind Friday nights is really to provide an outlet for visitors to come and just be absolutely joyous and absolutely curious and. Um, be able to leave feeling the artistic nature in themselves. Is there any of these special Friday nights coming up on the horizon for the end of 2015? Anything you're looking forward to? Um, I am looking forward to uh, the next seven weeks. I believe we have seven more Fridays after tonight. We will have like a Halloween-esque theme on the 30th, uh, but we're going to be focusing on the world at large. So we're bringing in a group of musicians called Pangea, and they play music from all over the world. And what we're going to uh, really encourage our visitors to do is to come dressed in you know, costume or regalia that uh, symbolizes uh, parts of the world that they're really um, inspired by. So, whether you're looking for a nice Friday night option to go on a nice hot date or burn off some of that midterm stress, the De Young Museum offers a wonderful program every single Friday night. As we say here at the De Young Museum, the night is De Young. For Cal TV Entertainment, I'm Nate Blanchard. since 1987. I first started at the Jewish Community